hey yo what's up guys it's your boy fearless here bringing you a tutorial this isn't like you know an apex tutorial or anything this is about how to overclock your controller basically what overclocking your controller is going to do is your response time on your controller is going to go from five seconds on pc to one or not five seconds five milliseconds to one millisecond that is a huge difference if you play on a monitor you understand like you know the difference between ms's because if you were to play on like you know like my 43 inch tv the millisecond response time would be terrible compared to a monitor so that's why people play on monitors people play on monitors because of the response time and i mean controllers have always been really uh you know higher than m and k on response time it, like with m and k it's like instant with the you know the response time so basically the controller is going to go from like i said 5 ms to 1 ms by doing this so let's get right into the video guys all right guys i'm back here uh i brought up the link for you guys real quick so basically i'm gonna put the link in the description below and basically what you're gonna do is when you click this link you're gonna go here you're gonna click this one you're gonna click the second from the bottom you're gonna click it make sure you click download make sure you also have winrar if you don't have winrar uh i can put that down low but majority of people have winrar and with the driver right here basically you're going to highlight it click extract extract it to your desktop make sure you click it and click ok i already have it downloaded so i'm not going to go i'm not going to do that one and so once i do this you're going to click your driver whenever it's extracted into this folder on your desktop and since it's right here you click it and you click the setup basically when you click the setup you're going to click yes once you click yes you're going to see these options right here don't worry about those they don't matter make sure you click all and once you click all here's what you're going to look for you're going to look for exactly this it says usb our co uh compensate device and it's going to say usb audio device wireless controller hid co uh compliant game controller that's our compliant game controller that's what it's going to say right here basically what you're going to do is is once you click on this basically it's going to be on default right here so basically what you do is it is you're going to put it to a thousand you're going to put filter on and then you're going to click install service and once you click install service make sure you disconnect your controller and then it's going to reset and then plug it back up and then once it appears back on right here on the software it should say yes a thousand rate and then one and basically what this one is on the uh by trivio i'm not sure if i'm saying it even right i'm illiterate i'm stupid but the one basically means your millisecond response so it has a one millisecond response right here and now you're going to be able to play with your controller like how you would play with a mouse it's going to have a low a lower response time it'll improve your performance and not only will it improve your performance you'll be able to immediately tell the difference from using a controller before you did this to now when you do this so i hope you guys enjoy this it should improve your performance tenfold and i hope you guys throw this video a like this is your boy fearless make sure you don't forget to subscribe slap that notification bell this is your boy Peace.